Alright, it's the second morning. Yesterday was a pretty nasty day. We didn't get to do much hunting. Um, did get a little bit of a hunt in last night. Had some pigs come in, but but uh, they didn't get close enough. But I'm set up in a different tree at the same spot. And it's a whole lot better than it was yesterday. So I'm about 45 yards off my feeder. Got a little corn trail about halfway there back to me. And uh, hope to have a pretty good hunt this morning. just stuck a nice call eight point and I think I'm in a good shot you talk about a great morning I just had three really good pucks in here and oh, I, I'm shaking and I'm so pumped up oh wow that looked like a good shot they just kept coming and coming and coming Just got down. Gotta get my bow. That's gonna take two hands. Alright. Let's go see what this arrow looks like. Where is it? There it is. The old tracer doing his thing. And that my friends is a good looking arrow it's got blood all over it I think we're gonna have a deer at the end of this blood trail we'll see I thought I'd made a good shot on this deer but it wasn't until I got home and reviewed the video that I realized how far back the shot was it looked like a good shot because his leg was back had his leg been forward if I'd have put that arrow right behind the leg, it would have been right in the heart. But because his leg was back, it wasn't as good a shot as I thought. We did find some blood. We did trail the deer a little ways, but we were unable to recover him. And it was pretty disappointing. But I did take away a lesson here. I should have been more patient, and I should have waited for that leg to get forward, and that would have been a much better shot.